Hello everyone, hope you all are doing good. It's been a long time since I haven't created any video on Python. So in this video, I'm going to create a program using Python. And what that program is going to do is it's going to read an email uh, from my email box and then it is going to voice it over the content of the email to me. Okay. Now this can be useful in the situation when you, you are not at your desk, but you want this program to be running, let's say every one minutes or two minutes and you want it to be uh, reading any new emails and voicing it over to you. Okay, so it's more like a text to speech thing which we are going to use and uh, You can use this uh, program for many other purpose as well such as uh, let's say you have you want to uh, Just want to keep monitoring a certain product over Amazon website and let's say if the price of that uh, product fluctuates then you want uh, you know some sort of alarm or voice over uh, to let you know that the price of a product has been a decrease now uh, this is the email uh, latest email which i have right now in my email box and uh, we are going to create a python program which is going to read this latest email and it is going to let us know who is the sender of the email and what is the subject of the email and also it is going to let us know what's the body of the email again this is just a test email and don't really uh, you don't really need to go into what is written in the body of the email uh, we're just going to you know use text to speech and uh, python to read this and speak it over to us now in this program i'm going to use two packages which you will need to install so uh, name of these two packages are uh, pywin32 and the other one is pyttsx3 okay so these are the two packages which you will need and the first package is just to uh, call Outlook and read the emails from Outlook. And the second one is going to help us uh, converting any text to speech. Okay, so these are the things which you need to install. Now I'm using PyCharm uh, IDE. If you are using any other IDE, that is okay as well. So in order to install these packages uh, using PyCharm, you can just click here on Terminal. And uh, here you can do pip install and then you can write pywin32 or if you want to install pyttsx3 you can just write pip install pyttsx3 okay now i have already installed it so i don't really need to do it again so i'm just going to minimize it and this is what you will need as a first step and once this is done we are good to write our program so in the program we are going to import uh, two things so First is going to be win32.client and second is going to be import by ttsx3. Now win32.com.client is going to help us open or basically interact with Outlook. And we are not going to discuss in much detail about uh, each of these uh, function or method or objects. Okay, so uh, however, I will give you a link where you can read more about it if you want. And that will uh, is that thing is probably going to be more helpful okay so I don't really want to uh, keep this video very long so it's just gonna be a short video so uh, what we are doing here is we are creating a variable outlook and uh, basically you can say we are assigning uh, you know uh, object to uh, point it to this variable okay so that's going to be uh, for laymen who don't really know much about programming and this program uh, actually can be used by anyone you don't really need to be a programmer to write these sort of short programs it's just going to be uh, 10 lines of program and so here what we are doing is we are telling inbox is outlook.get default folder number six now how do i know that uh, number six is going to be inbox okay so i got to know this information from uh, Microsoft website so I'm going to give you the link where you can uh, get this information and if you want to uh, traverse through any other folder you can do that as well by just changing the number so messages is going to have all the uh, inbox items so basically whatever emails or uh, emails you have that's going to be in uh, this messages variable and then we are saying message equal to messages dot get last Okay, so get last means it is going to read latest email. Okay, uh, now if you want to traverse through all the emails, we can do that as well. So I'm just going to show you that in the uh, in the later part of the tutorial. But for now, this is all you needed to know. Okay, so now uh, let's just print this and see what 
it is printing okay so if i want to print uh, let's say name or uh, subject of the subject of the email i can just say message dot subject and we need to keep it in print now right click here and select uh, read email and speak out dot by okay this is the name of the program so this is what it is i'm just going to right click and select uh, to run this program and let's just wait for the output okay so this is what it says as you have noticed this this was the uh, subject of our email and it has printed the subject okay so similarly if i want to print uh, let's say sender name or any other thing i can do that as well okay so all we need to do is we need to change the properties so for example let's say if i'm interested in a sender name i'm just gonna print that as well okay and let's run it again and all these properties uh, sender name or subject this is also from microsoft website so i'm just going to uh, leave the link for that as well so you'll be knowing uh, what properties to call for different purpose okay so let's say if you want creation date or if you want size or whatever i'm going to uh, give the link using that you can find all those information okay so this is how it is printing subject and sender name this looks okay now we don't really need this i'm just going to uh, delete this part and now we can move on to using text to speech uh, function basically okay so now in order to use text to speech first thing we need to do is uh, we need to initialize the engine and so we are assigning variable to engine and we are calling it uh, pi ttsx3 dot init okay and now let's say you want to uh, say something using this program so all you have to do is you have to use engine.say and in this uh, in the parentheses uh, you will have to write whatever you want to be you know spoken over so in this case let's say i want to say hello world and now if i run this program as of now okay there is one more uh, thing which we need to use which is called engine dot uh, run and wait okay so now if i run this program it's going to it over listen to it carefully hello world okay you heard it it just said hello world okay so now you know what we need to replace this hello world with we need to replace this hello world with let's say a uh, name of the sender so for example i can say i can say you have an email from and the name of the sender so for example i'm just going to say you have an email from and dot format and uh, i'm gonna say message dot sender name okay so now let's hear what it says you have an email from educational guru okay so you saw it was able to tell us that we have an email from educational guru that was the name of the sender who uh, sent us the latest email okay now i can uh, i can just keep on writing whatever i want for example i can say you have an email from sender name and then i can say uh, subject of the email is and then we can add message dot subject and then this is going to let us know name of the sender and uh, name of the subject or basically subject of the email you have an email from educational guru subject of the email is bot meeting on your end okay so you heard and now i'm just going to add message body as well so we can say that uh, this is what is written in the email okay and then we are just going to add message dot body so that's all we need now we can just run it and once i run it it's going to let us know who the sender is, what's the subject, and what's written in the email body. You have an email from Educational Guru. Subject of the email is bot meeting on your end. This is what is written in the email. Hi, Vikas. There is a bot meeting tomorrow which you have been invited to. Please prepare a PPT to showcase your team's next plan. Regards, John. Okay, so you saw how easy it is to create this sort of program. We just written uh, hardly around 8 to 10 lines of code. 
now you can use this program for various other purposes as i told you you can create some sort of you know alarm uh, for your product price or for let's say trade market or uh, if there is any dip or there is any spike in trade market or, or certain trades you can create a program to uh, speak it out for you and you can possibly do lots of other things and if you have any question do let me know in the comment box and if you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe to the channel and it is going to help us grow the channel okay so thank you so much for watching see you again